Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So in this episode I'm going to discuss an Instagram post that was uh, posted I think a few days ago by an actor, musician. I mean he's got so many accolades but I know him as Tyrese from Fast and Furious. Hey, you blown, homie, I got this. This is done. In this Instagram post, I was actually very pleasantly surprised at his bravery, his honesty, because he is seen as a devout Christian, yeah, and he's very proud of his Christian faith. So for him to post this out there, I was actually very surprised. So let's let's have a little look at the post. He mentions that he's been going to the Middle East for many years and it's actually shaken his faith based upon what he's seen there in a positive light. If you look at the pictures, they are primarily based upon his visit to the mosque. And he talks about how he went to the mosque without any guide or, or anything, just so they could experience the mosque. Yeah, just, just naturally and he talks about that experience and then he goes on to say that he's genuinely putting this out there and he wants to know if people have converted between the faiths as well and he is somebody that questions and I thought this was brilliant yeah because this is definitely starting a discussion that needs to be had. The first thing that he really truly delved into was the fact that he felt as if he was doubting his faith. I wouldn't necessarily package it as doubting your faith Tyrese or other people like Tyrese that are watching, it is actually something called the fitra, which is the innate disposition. It's like the default settings on your human body. In your human body. Yeah, I was seeing if I could salvage that grammatical slip, but there's no point. What do I mean? What's the default position? The default position is believing in the one true God. Monothe monotheism. As we know Christianity believes three in one. Yeah, you've got the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. They are three but they are in, in essence one. And to be fair my bro, it actually shows that you are a sincere individual. Yeah, because if a person is genuine and sincere, Allah will surely show him or her the correct path. This actually reminds me of an article that I saw in the Sky newspaper which was talking about how the planet that we're living on, planet Earth. For those of you <laughs> that needed me to explain that detail, again I thought I could salvage that but nope, no I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> so those of you that... Um, I've lost my train of thought now. Got the shot! Very good! Yeah so this article mentioned how Earth is perfectly adapted to sustain human life and how scientists or whoever they're referring to believe we are very lucky. What? Yeah now this actually goes to show the extreme lengths that certain people will go to disbelieve in a god. Yeah that they are willing to pit the entire existence and the, one of the biggest fine-tuning examples that we have on sheer luck. So yeah Tyrese believing that three gods are in essence one god or believing as soon as you open up the Bible and you read Genesis, God getting tired, yeah, God needing a rest on the seventh day. Then you go on to see God wrestling with another prophet, then God allowing his own son and sacrificing his son for a sin yeah, or for a consequence that he is not responsible for and then giving the entire humanity something that they are responsible for. Adam quote unquote Adam's sin. And let's be frank this does not sit well with anybody. And how do people reconcile this with their daily acts of worship? They're told just believe. Other aspects like celibacy, not getting married, this is something that is against the fitra. This is against the nature of a human and that's why you see the scandal that's happening in the Catholic Church abusing children. And even if we look at the dress, the worship and the language of Jesus and we see that as Christians you don't do any of those. You dress unlike Jesus, the language that he spoke was Aramaic, you don't speak that language and Jesus didn't sit in pews singing. And Tyrese, if we're being honest, stuff like this doesn't sit well with people. It's difficult to reconcile and that's why some people just close their eyes and they just believe. Yeah. Now belief needs to make sense. 
Yeah, there's one type of intelligence Allah, God has given to everybody and that is logic, common sense. And this is where we really should and I'm glad that you are questioning because other people should also be doing so. Those people that say, look, no, this is something that you just believe in. Look, as Muslims, you have this that you have to just believe in. Look, the fundamental aspects need to be clear. Who is your God? How many of the gods are there? This needs to be clear. If this is wishy-washy and cannot be explained by well, properly by any priest, is a big question mark on this frankly. And I know my friend you have gone through divorce and heartbreak very recently. It is at times like this that a person truly introspects and you know heartbreak is no joke and it can shake a person to the core. Their foundations of an individual can be shaken and this is a very very good time to check if the foundations that you have are actually secure or are they crumbling under the pressure. And the three main advices I'll give you is number one Tyrese, ask God. Yeah, Say God if you're there I'm lost, I'm confused, I think this is the right path, please guide me. Number two Tyrese, watch other debates and discussions, type in Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park in the UK. Muslims, Christians, people of other faiths come together and they have debates. And number three, this was something that you were interested in, convert stories yeah, or revert stories as we call them. I only live once, let's do it. Believe it or not, I genuinely have your best interests at heart. Yeah, I don't have anything to gain from you. I have done two jobs today. It's the evening, I'm supposed to be pointing my feet up, relaxing, but I'd rather be doing this because I honestly, if I didn't believe in this guys, I would not be sitting here in my living room <laughs> speaking to a camera. I wouldn't be doing it. I'd have my feet up, chilling, I've got some nice sugar-free ice cream, you know, it's got the natural uh, sweeteners. But what's more important than all of that guys is you guys, yeah? And your happiness and contentment. For Allah tells us in the Quran, that it is only in the remembrance of your Lord will your hearts find satisfaction. Yes, and remembering your Lord how? As you ought to be remembered according to his attributes. And his main attribute is monotheism. Him being one alone. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.